With Computer Music issue 254, we've got a bumper 1 gigabyte pack from sample brand Loopmasters. So to check out this mega pack, we've created this raw techno track in Ableton Live. in and break down how it was put together. Although we're using Ableton Live, the techniques we'll look at can be applied to your own door and software. Our tempo is set to 124 BPM. To begin, we've got some hi-hat samples here in a drum rack. There are three layered hats firing on the offbeat. And then there's this woody closed hat playing the 16th notes between. Next, here's a thick, fuddy kick sample, loaded into a drum rack, and triggered on every beat of the bar by MIDI. After that, on this third MIDI track, we've got two percussion samples. There's a metallic hit interplaying against 909 clap flourishes, giving us that stereotypical drum machine flavour. Next, on another MIDI track, we drew in eighth notes, and then auditioned through loops to find something repetitively interesting. We scanned the sampler's start point throughout, and came up with this chunky bass note. It was a bit nasal, so it's been low-pass filtered in the sampler. Careful low-end EQ on the sub-bass controls its overpowering weight, and then sidechain compressed against the 4-4 kick to create a pumping techno sub-bass. After we had these few parts rolling, our kick drum sounded a bit flat and lifeless in the mix. So Live's glue compressor is used to compress the kick. And we've got a slow attack to bring out the front end snap. Time for some more percussion. We've got this cowbell loop from the Loop Masters sample pack. It's been loaded into a simpler on a new MIDI track. And what we did is flip simpler into slice mode. By drawing in various MIDI notes throughout the bar, we've sprinkled in these small chunks of percussion just to fill in gaps in the groove. Then on an audio track, we dragged in this loop and then used volume automation within the clip to isolate some buzzy percussion rolls. Because we're making techno, we've got this offbeat 909 ride. We've taken out treble from this to fit it in the mix, and then it's been auto panned for stereo movement. And then we're using Live 10's new stereo split pan mode on the channel to pocket the ride to the right of the stereo field. Next, time for a synth part. We started with this synth loop and threw it in a new simpler. And we're just triggering a small portion of it to create this three note riff over half a bar. To give us a hypnotic techno hook element. After that, on another new MIDI track, we've fired off this whoosh sample that's been pitched up by two octaves, creating a unique crash style effect sound. Instead of adding a rolling snare fill at the end of 8 bars, we've placed 16th notes at the start of every 8 bar section. Just to give our track some modern pace and aggression. We've been doing this basic 30 second note flam effect. That then leads into the first beat of the bar. And later if we want, we'll be able to turn this into a full on snare roll for builds and edits. We've pretty much got the basics down now, so it seemed like a good time to go in and process some of the sounds.
just to sweeten the mix and get more of a pro sound. The first hi-hat has been brightened with a high shelf boost. Then we bust all of our drum channels to this single group, and then collectively beefed them up with Life 10's new drum bus device. Notice how the wet and dry mix on this plugin is set to a very, very subtle value. But when we turn the device on and off, you can definitely hear the vibe and colour it's adding to the drums. To finish, we've added a glitchy vocal part. As with the cowbell loop we looked at earlier, we loaded a vocal loop into Simpler and set it to slice mode. Then we've got Lies Frequency Shifter in Ring Mod mode. And then an Echo device as well. And this is transforming the vocal chops into a transposed alien-like riff element. Readers of Computer Music Issue 254 can download this Ableton Live 10 project file and, of course, this month's epic 1GB Loom Masters sample pack.